Hello, here we are again uh, with our serial communication. In this case, in this time, it's uh, I2C, which is Intra Integrated Circuit um, LCD Display Control. Here we have uh, our LCD uh, display. Um, I purchased a uh, the module here that they list to convert from uh, the Uno to communicate to the uh, LCD display because I want to use that in more projects. However, I didn't like how many um, wires it took to con to connect the the LCD display. You, you typically have to all these pins have to be assigned to somewhere on the Uno or the Mega, and that used up a lot of resources. So I was very intrigued when I saw that you could use basically only two pins. Um, this is power and a five volt, a five volt, and then ground, and then over here we have. Um, uh, A4 and A5, and just those two pins and the power can control and send dis uh, data to the LCD display, uh, which I thought was uh, very intriguing and looked more into it and purchased uh, the board. Um, they have a, a website here that tells. Um, I will leave the website address uh, on this video so that uh, you can do the same thing if you wish. So I was reading through this and uh, it gives a pretty decent description uh, how to build the wire that connects uh, the data input to this uh, shield and then the wire pinout for over here on the Uno. And um, the Uno and the Mega have different uh, uh, SCA and SCL, I believe they're called, uh, pins. So you gotta look that up, but that's rel that's uh, relatively easy to find. And it's straightforward. Then he also gives you some sample code here to uh, install and, and write something on the screen, on the LCD screen. Uh, there were some glitches, uh, obviously, and some of the forum uh, sites uh, describe some of the problems, but typically what was an issue was right here was this address, uh, uh, there's like a couple that you can try and I had to try a couple of them before I got it to work. In addition to that, this address right here, and he even says you have to change this to match your display, uh, that didn't work either. So, but there's a workaround which I'll describe. So basically you download this uh, software and, or this uh, sketch and you load it up and you start getting this little message that says, hello Arduino. And then there's a little counter that just counts every second or so. He does mention here in some notes that, uh, that you might want to try different addresses, and I wound up trying different ones um, before it finally worked. What was critical was this scanner routine right here uh, that you can run that will tell you which port you need to put uh, uh, in for here. So that's the, the fix. And it, that... There was a little bit of miscommunication with uh, uh, the scanner um, software, which I will show you um, coming up in the video. But um, once you fix that, it works beautifully. Um, this kind of shows the board soldered uh, to the LCD display, and then you wind up plugging this whole thing um, uh, through the four wires on this side uh, to your Uno. Well, I didn't want to permanently connect the I2C uh, uh, um, shield to the LCD display. I may want to use it in other ways. So I bought this female cable and I just connected all of them, all the pins one, one to one. So that, that worked out pretty well. But I'll have a schematic of this uh, fritzing at the end of the video also. So here they talk about how to do it with uh, 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 different uh, uh, um, Arduinos. And so depending on which one you have, you can uh, set up your cable accordingly. And that's basically uh, all that's given in this um, website. And that's all there is to it. It's actually very straightforward for the most part. Um, one thing you do have to do is you have to get the I2C library code um, is here in this library right here. And you wind up downloading uh, a new LCD display a library. So in your um, Uno uh, uh, directory that you keep all your libraries like Ping and Blink and the rest of them, you have to uh, uh, 
take the existing LCD display library and put that in a folder called, you know, temp or something so you don't lose it. And then you go to the website uh, here and it will come up with uh, the different uh, um, uh, libraries and, and source code and that sort of thing that you can download. And the one you want to download is LCD display uh, zip file and install that using your uh, the IDE, the Arduino um, IDE. And it tells you how to do it in the, in the, in the website here. So it's, pretty, it's very straightforward. And so once you do that, you, the first thing you need to do, or you should do, is run the program called Scanner. Here's the word, here's, it's a scanner program. It tells you a little bit how it works here. Um, and then it runs through and, and calculates, uh, uh, finds out which address is the address you need to enter because the 027 may not work. And what's, what's a, a kind of a misnomer is the fact that 027 is actually hex 027. So his code, um, I wound up changing a little bit right here specifically. Um, I say change, for, he had a decimal from one to a hundred of the addresses. I change it from a decimal to a hex. And then I also did that down here and down here. And what that does is when you run this, and I'm gonna upload it and open the serial monitor, and you'll see it just runs through once and it lists all the addresses, but this time now it lists it in hex. And in fact, something you need to do which I did not do, is put this at 12,200 12, baud. That's the other gotcha. I'm used to doing it at 9,600 baud. And now it comes up really nicely. It lists address 1 through 100, but that's hex. And that's what you want. And it turns out that the address that it found for my board and my display was 3F. Yours may change. His example shows uh, 27. Well, 27 doesn't work for me. So I took the 3F. And um, I then put that in the code here, and I put it specifically right there. You define the I2C address code right there. And this code that I have here is basically uh, his, uh, the, the, the website, the gentleman that did this. This is his code. I just modified it a little bit to do, to say, hello, Arduino and then hello world, and that's all I have to do. But you can have it do anything. I mean, it'll, it'll run all the, I believe, all the LCD um, functions and commands. So um, what I had a problem with too was this statement here. So once I found my address here, the next thing was to change this out. And he gives you uh, several examples here of different ones to try. And I believe mine was this one here, this, this set, the first one here at the top that actually worked. And so uh, after changing that, and here it is right here, uh, running the code, um, it all worked really fine. I just go ahead and load this up and you'll see that the screen here will clear and then it will flash hello Arduino and hello world back and forth. And you can get it to, to write anything, the LCD uh, uh, library, the, nor the one that is downloaded with the Arduino uh, runs, I, I believe. So um, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it, there is some information here at the top. Uh, for the UNO, the SDA is A4 and the um, SCL is A5. Now I also have a Mega 256, I mean, uh, 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 2560. And so the SDA is on pin 20 and the SCL is on 21. So that it only takes two pins to drive the LCD display, which is really nice, especially when you start getting larger programs and you don't want to use up all the resources, say on the Uno, or even if you're making a really large product, uh, uh, project uh, on the Mega, this allows you to have a really cool display, even though it's small, and I imagine you can ramp that up. You should be able to ramp this up to any size screen you want. Uh, it would be very cool. So um, it loads all these libraries here uh, so most of these are already pre-included. And then um, you define the address, which you use the scanner program to find right here. And then you have to figure out what address you need. And then from there, you just set up the, the, the 
LCD screen like you normally would. You say the, the begin size is 16 by 2. You set the backlight uh, brightness. Uh, then you go into your loop and you clear it. And then you print a line. And then you delay it so you can see it. And then you clear it again. You position the cursor on the bottom. And then you write another line. And you delay it. And you loop and loop. And that's all I'm doing. And that's really pretty much it. And that's using I2C, which is uh, very nice. So um, I hope uh, this answers your questions and gives you some insight on what to do. Um, please uh, leave a comment or, or share or subscribe. I will try to leave uh, the code, the address where I, where I store the code. On, I store the code on CodeBender. Um, I'll have that up there shortly also, along with the, an image of the fritzing. Uh, so you can see how the wiring, but the wiring really is very simple. Um, and uh, I believe uh, that's all that there uh, needs to be done. And then you too can uh, have the same uh, uh, setup here uh, for your system. Thanks for watching. Bye. Here's a copy of the Fritzing wiring schematic for the I2C LCD display. You'll see up in the corner that there is the file name. Um, I'll have that up on CodeBender so that you can download it if you want to.